I'm glad you seem to be doing better now and you survived your match with Abdullah the Butcher too. You're one of the the few <laughs> from this generation that's wrestled him. Well, it takes one to know one, my friend. Jeez Louise. That, I, I guess I'm lucky I didn't cut him. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, or that he didn't cut. Was he bleeding in that match? With you? No, he didn't end up bleeding. Yeah. Lucky you. Can you do yeah. an impression of that asshole? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. You know what's funny? I, uh, I can't really do it. I never really tried. Huh? He's got kind of a voice like this. It's kind of a... Uh, I wish my sisters and my brothers could have been here. I don't know. I can't. I can't grasp his voice. I'd have to really focus hey, on it. Hey, champ! A little. How are you doing, champ? <laughs> there he's really high. high. <laughs> 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 it's very my last true. interaction with him, I actually did a podcast with uh, Smith Hart, rest his soul. And uh, Smith was doing a podcast, and he had me on faking as Austin. So he's like, "We're gonna, we're gonna get, we're gonna get Abdullah. We're gonna call Abdullah. We're gonna play a rib on him." So we call Abdullah, and then Abdullah thinks he's talking to Austin. Like, "Hey, Abdullah the Butcher, I'm a big fan. Do you remember back in the Chamber of Horrors?" And he was going on thinking he's talking to Austin. Steve, I was a big fan of yours too. And and then Smith. Smith breaks kayfabe in the middle of it. He's like, it's not really Austin. It's my friend Jason. And <laughs> Abdullah wanted off the phone after. <laughs> it's just sad. <it's laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Well, lucky for you, I think he, his mind is long gone. He probably has absolutely no recollection of that. Yeah, good point. Sorry <laughs> to hear his mind's gone, though. It's sad. You know, CTE is pretty scary if you think about it, right? Yeah, I mean... I I know that he did the slicing thing, and he is a fucked up idiot for doing that. Should have stopped when he knew he had Hep C. But like, oh, yeah. I know in his mind he doesn't understand what he did because like he's just not mentally there. He doesn't understand how that's dangerous cutting wow. someone with a used blade. Yeah, it's good to hear that actually, because yeah. Yeah, I remember in the match that I had with him, he, he just wouldn't stop. And I, I was overselling it, like, please, someone. But I told everyone I was going to oversell. So now I'm screaming for the match to end, but no one's going to end it. And, I mean, he just kept slicing. He said he was just going to slice me twice and dig into those cuts. But he sliced me, like, 14 times. I mean, the guy just wouldn't stop. I mean, like, okay, man, I can't bleed anymore. Like it was, oh, he it was, was the one doing the blade job on you. Oh yeah, and and his uh his blade, it it went under the um it went under the uh, tape, so he couldn't get a hold of it. So he ended up breaking a beer bottle and doing the cutting with the beer bottle. Like I mean, the guy, and then he found his blade after and was able to do the cut. So it was, oh my god! You're already covered in blood. Oh, I found the blade. Let me go after you again. No, he finally got it. I remember before the match, I was just pleased. I was begging him if I could light his blade. He's like, fine, if you if we make you feel better. Just because I just was so afraid of it being dirty. So I, at least he let me light it. But freaking he, it was like a blade he used the time before. It's scary, man. It's scary. And I got paid nothing for that, too. This will all be in my book. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's one of the issues I have with the hardcore wrestling. I know the fans like to see it, but what the fans don't understand is the people that do it, unless it's like an AEW, they're lucky to get 50 bucks and they're like not only risking the injury from whatever, the glass or whatever, but the transmission. Because let's face it, you probably weren't tested before that match. We know he wasn't tested. It's exactly. like independent companies just don't have the funding for that. Yeah, good point. Very good point. And so, yeah, and yeah, you're, uh, yeah I, I second everything you just said there. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.